Namaste. Welcome everyone to another of our seven days of yoga challenge. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're managing to keep up and do all of the seven days. So today we're going to start standing. So stand with the feet together. Take the hands to prayer at heart centre. Roll the shoulders back, relax them down and just close the eyes. Standing tall through the spine, we start to engage the navel lock. Drawing the belly in about 60-70% of your strength. The crown of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. The shoulders are relaxing down. So while you're here, just noticing the weight distribution in the feet. So we're just going to play around with that weight distribution. So start to take the weight a little bit more forward into the balls of the feet, keeping the eyes closed if you can. So just noticing with the eyes closed, noticing any changes, any shifts, any sensations in the body. And then come back to centre and then rocking slightly back. So now the weight's a little more into the heels of the feet. Come back to centre, shifting the weight now over to your left. And back to centre, shifting over to your right, back to centre, staying here at centre, just noticing if you think you're standing in the very centre now, do you have equal weight distribution in the feet? You might start to notice little shifts some micro movements going on as the body automatically adjusts. You can never stand exactly still. The body will always be working hard to maintain the balance, making just tiny little micro movements, little adjustments as it needs to. Taking the hands down at the side of the body. Take the chin down towards the chest. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck and flicker the eyes open. As you inhale, lift up all of the toes. Look at your toes and see if you can place them back down on the mat. Little toe goes down first, and then the next toe, and the next one. The big toe coming down last. And seeing if you can notice now all the toes are down, a little bit more space between all the toes. Let's try that again. Inhale, lift all the toes up. Exhale, placing them back down all the way down onto the mat, holding there, raise the head, raise the gaze. Start to float the right arm up, the palm is up as you inhale here and then rotate the palm to face the ear, exhale, taking the other arm behind, inhale, lifting the hand up, exhale, behind. So keeping this going, moving with your breath, Noticing the hips, are you managing to keep the hips facing forward as you do this or are you getting a little bit of rotation here like this? So try to keep the hips square facing forward, try to isolate the movement just from your right shoulder. Inhaling to lift, exhaling arm comes behind. So we're just mobilising through the shoulder. Maybe we get a slight bit more range of motion each time we do this. One more time. And hand comes down, other side, inhale, lift the left. Rotate the palm in and exhale behind. Inhale forward and up. Exhaling behind. Inhale. Exhale, moving with the body, with the breath, checking that you're isolating the movement from the shoulder. The rest of the body should stay quite still. Final time here. Exhale, taking the hand behind and down. As you inhale now, I want you to lift up onto the toes. So you might get a bit wobbly here, that spine wobbles are good. Just the body working out how to stay balanced. Exhale, lower the heels. 
inhale, lifting up onto the toes, staying here, finding your balance on your next exhale, see if you can slowly lower the heels, one more time, inhale, lifting up, staying here, maybe we can float the arms up in front, practicing our balance a little more, palms face down, maybe we can squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows draw back, arms come back forward and we exhale heels and arms down at the same time inhale let the arms float up to the side flex the hands now press the hands away from you and then make fists and turn the knuckles down towards the floor inhale press the palms away exhale make fists inhale to open the hands exhale to close just a couple more like this. And now we're going to speed it up. So quick movements now. It's a lot harder than it looks. We're doing 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and let the arms come down shaking out the wrists shaking out the fingers the arms and then relaxing the hands down slide the hands up to the waist and picking up your right leg so you're pointing the toes down towards the ground the knee is lifted and we're just going to circle the ankle around and change direction holding the knee here, the foot is flexed, we open the leg out to the side and then bring it back. Two more times opening out and bringing it back in, final one here and holding there at centre. Now as you inhale can you take the arms up, as you exhale reach the left arm forward, the right arm goes back, see if you can take the left hand to the outside of that leg and maybe twist slightly gazing behind you. As you inhale, come back up to centre. As you exhale, can you take the foot behind, catch hold of the ankle and come into your quad stretch. And then lowering that foot down. Hands slide up to the waist, other side, we pick up the left knee, the foot points down. Find your balance first and then start to circle the ankle around. Changing direction. And holding there with the foot flexed. As you inhale, float the arms up. As you exhale, right arm goes forward, left arm goes behind. Maybe take the back of the right hand outside the leg. Use that hand like a lever to enable you to twist just a little bit further around. Inhale, the arms come back up in line with the ears and exhale, stepping the feet down. Step the feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, dive down into a forward fold. Take the hands just to the shins. So I'll turn to the side so that you can see. So your back is flat, parallel to the floor. Neighbor lock is engaged. So micro bend the knees now, just a soft bend here so we're not rocking the knees out. And start to slide the hands down the legs so we're coming a little bit deeper so this might be enough for you. Or you might be able to come further down. You may want to take the first two fingers underneath the big toes and then use the big toes to press into the fingers, anchoring the fingers down and opening the shoulders out as you relax the head down. One more breath here. Inhale as you come back to that flat back position, hands come to the shins. 
Exhale as you bend the knees, take the hands to the floor and step the right foot forward and the back knee drops down. So coming into a lunge position. Untuck the back toes and press into that front foot so you can come up. Make sure the knee is over the ankle so we don't want it forward like this. So we're pressing firmly into the front foot, squaring our hips to the front. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Prayer the hands, bring them down through heart center and then rotate to your right. So the elbow comes outside of that leg and we're rotating around, working the center of the chest in line with the thumbs eventually. Crown of the head is reaching away from you. Feel the length in the spine. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, the fingertips come down to the floor. Stepping that foot back. And we go to the other side. So left foot steps forward. Line the knee over the ankle first. Then push into that front foot. So inhale, reaching the hands up high. Reach tall through the rib cage. Prayer the hands. Bring them down through heart center. Make sure you're pressing that front foot firmly into the floor, you're not collapsing forward. On your exhale, rotate to your left. Take the elbow outside of the leg. Press the palms together. Crown of the head is reaching away. One more breath. And rotate back to the top. Fingertips come down to the floor and we step that foot back, coming into a tabletop position. So I want you to slide your right knee in between the hands and then scoop the leg around. So the knees are stacked on top of each other and we can sit back into our cow facing pose. So the legs are out to the side, the knees are stacked. If this is too much, then you just extend the bottom leg out straight, flexing the left foot, and you can stay here. It might feel quite tight in that outer thigh. So maybe this is enough for you. If you want to bring in a forward fold, you can inhale here, and exhale, start to reach forward, either from this position or your full cow facing. You're gazing slightly forward and ahead. So if the legs are extended, you can take your gaze to the big toe. A couple more breaths here. So I'll just show you if you're in the full cow facing, it would look more like this. Final breath here. And then as best you can, coming back up onto your knees, scooping the knee back through centre and placing it back underneath the hip. Other side, left knee draws through the middle. We stack the knees on top of each other, open the legs out to the side and sit back. So just adjusting as you need to, bottom leg can be straight. Try to wriggle around and get both sitting bones on the floor. So just sitting tall first. Just noticing any sensations, noticing if perhaps it's tighter on this side than the other. Just seeing how it feels so you won't be symmetrical. So one side will probably feel quite different. If you want to bring in the forward fold, you can. So we would inhale here and exhale, reaching the hands forward, gazing towards your big toe if your leg is extended long using each exhalation to melt the body down. One more breath. Pressing into the hands to come back up. And then we're just going to roll over back into our tabletop position, scoop the knee back through the hands, 
Take the knees together and then cross the ankles and press yourself back into a seated position. So we're just sitting comfortably on the mat. Let's take the left chin forward and the right knee behind. So 90-90, so I'll turn to the side again. I think maybe you'll see better. So the left shin is in front, parallel to the front of the mat, both feet are flexed. And then check your right ankle is in line with your knee, so have it tracking behind your knee. Take the left hand to the waist or the hip and press it down just to anchor it down towards the ground. Reach the right arm forward in line with the shoulder, inhale here. As you exhale, start to make a fist and draw the arm back. Inhale, reaching forward as you open the palm. Exhale, drawing it back. Inhale. Exhale, slight rotation as you draw the elbow back now. You can move the body with the arm this time. One more time. Reach the arm forward and then placing the hand down and we'll go straight to the other side. So right chin comes in front, left knee comes behind. We check both feet are flexed and that the ankle is coming behind the knee. Sitting up tall, take the right hand and anchor that hip down. Reach the right arm forward, inhale. Exhale, make a fist, sorry it's the left arm. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhaling back. Inhale. As you exhale, let the body rotate slightly with the arm. Keep the elbow quite far in towards the body, so we're not letting the elbows splay out. Three more. One more here. And we finish inhaling forward, reaching the fingers away. And then exhale, taking the hand down. Coming just to a nice, comfortable seated position. You can sit on a cushion or a pillow if you prefer. However you want to sit tall. Maybe sitting on a block. Hands can rest on the knees. We inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them down the back and close the eyes. Start to relax the body now, noticing the effects of your yoga practice today. How do you feel now as opposed to how you did at the beginning when you first stepped on your mat? Noticing how you feel different. to sit here calmly, maintaining stillness, allowing your breath to become soft and natural. If you notice any noises or anything going on around you, try to Learn to just observe these noises without having a reaction. So maintaining your calm feeling, your focus on your soft breath. Just learning to let things go on around you as they need to, but not focusing your attention on them, not worrying about them. Just focusing on yourself. 